It's unusual for a hurricane's winds to hit 157 miles an hour, the threshold for Category 5. It's even more unusual for a Category 5 to strike land. But most unusual, a Category 5 striking a densely populated region. That's exactly what happened on October 10th, 2018. Hurricane Michael struck right here, Panama City, Florida, the combined metro population of over 200,000 people. And the results were catastrophic. Why was it so bad? Let's put it in historical perspective. Michael was one of only four known Category 5 impacts in the continental U.S. And of the four, Michael smashed the largest population center. The violent inner core of Hurricane Michael passed right over Panama City when the storm had estimated winds of 160 miles an hour. Now, because the city was on the left side of the storm, the winds were blowing offshore, which minimized the storm surge here. But the wind damage across this city and neighboring ones was extreme. But don't take my word for it. Local officials like Mayor Greg Brednicki of Panama City had to lead their city through a truly unprecedented situation. During the hurricane itself, I was at my house with my family. We had nine people staying at our house. We had, uh, I have a large generator, and so we stayed, and uh, we chose to stay. And so I filmed some of this, you know, out the window. And you're looking out the window and you see trees snap. We had 90% of the city that was damaged or destroyed. So we had a blank slate. So we said, what are we gonna do? Well, what we need to do is we need to find out what our citizens would like to, to see because now we have a blank slate. So we've got some $420 million that we're gonna be getting uh, from the state and federal government to resource the infrastructure and the plans that need to be done to bring all of our four wards back up to what they need to be, plus we're gonna be better. I asked the mayor if maybe there was a silver lining to all this. Any good leader turns a problem into an opportunity. And then there's the human side of this, what each resident went through. The terror of the moment, the shock of the aftermath, and the ongoing sense of loss. Kim Walker got the full experience. Nobody predicted it to be bad. It was not predicted to be a strong, maybe a two hurricane. As I'm flipping through channels, and it was probably, I don't know, around 10 or 11, all of a sudden it's a three. And I'm like, oh, and it's not turning. I was worried about flooding that morning. So I'm pulling everything up so that if we do get water in here, it's not going to get ruined. I never once thought about the wind. As I'm sitting there and it gets more intense, all of a sudden there's this screeching like a cat just going on. And I'm, I'm like, oh, I wasn't bothered by anything with this storm but that noise. And I said to Craig, I wish somebody would get rid of that cat. What is that cat noise that's going on? It's just a high pitch squeal. And meanwhile, the walls are going like this and the house is just shaking. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, Craig, what is that screeching sound? And he goes, well, I didn't want to tell you during the hurricane, but those are the nails that are coming out of the rafters. Little did they know, their troubles were just beginning. Once the adrenaline wore off, the real challenge began. Years fighting their way back to something like normal. Nobody tells you how to prepare for after the storm. Do you have enough money out to last you a year? You know, because you're, we didn't have anything. Uh, we had no telephone, we had no communication with anybody. So the emotions that you have because nothing is normal after the hurricane. Your friends leave and you don't ever see them again. Um, you don't get to say goodbye to them. They live just down the road, but their house was demolished, so now they're living somewhere else and that's it. Um, so, you know, it's just, it's, it's those things that tear at the emotions. Lesson learned, everybody talks about storm surge, but don't take hurricane winds for granted. Five years later, Panama City is still picking up the pieces after violent hurricane winds. So, when a hurricane's coming, even if you're high enough to escape the storm surge, you still might want to evacuate. This is Josh Morgerman with Weather Nation TV in Panama City, Florida.